Hey everyone, I'm here at the Gainesville Skill House, and they have a CNC machine I'd like to do some projects on. But I haven't actually done any CNC work before, so I decided that I have this Raspberry Pi that's running Octoprint that controls my printer, and I need a case for it. It's just been sitting on my dresser, so it's time to put this baby in a case. And that would be the perfect project to do on a CNC machine. So we have a Probotics Fireball X90 here, and I've designed a case using uh, DraftSite, so we're going to go load this up, generate some G-code, and cut this baby out. So I designed the case using draft sites. This is a 2D CAD program designed by the same people that make SolidWorks. And I haven't designed anything in DraftSite before, so I wanted to use this as a project to kind of get my head into DraftSite, because I've heard good things about it. So let me give you a quick overview of the case. I have the top here with the Raspberry Pi logo. And then I have the bottom, this is where the Raspberry Pi will sit on. And then I have the two ends. This end has a slot designed for the SD card. Um, this is for the Raspberry Pi B+. So it has the uh, S mini SD card at the bottom. So I needed a hole for that. And then this is the side where the USB ports are. Um, it's not big enough to hold the Ethernet cable. I'm not using the Ethernet cable for my Octo, uh, Octoprint, so I just use that as support. So I only cut out to where the USB ports will be. And then over here is for the HDMI port and the power cable and all that. And then um, in order to hold the case together, since this will be cut out of just wood, I have the blue here being tabs that will fit into the red slots once they're all cut out. So the slots are 5 millimeters high, which is how thick this wood is. And it is has an extra 1.5 millimeters on each side. So this is uh, 3 millimeters larger than the slots. That's because the bit is a circular bit, so it's going to kind of round off these corners when it CNC's. So I still need there to be some room between here and the tabs, so they all fit together. So once I have this drawing, I will import this into a program called CamBam, and that's what's going to actually generate the toolpaths for me. I don't have uh, a recording device on the computer I'm going to generate the CamBam code on, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what I'm doing there. It's going to be two different machining operations. Um, this pie and all of these slots are going to be cut uh, using they're just going to be cut out um, on the inside of the lines using a standard through cuts um, machining path and then once these holes are all drilled then it's going to go around the outside of each of these shapes and it's going to do a, a cut on the outside in cutting through what what's cool about CamBam is that you can tell it to leave tabs so there will be once it gets to the very last cut it's going to leave a little bit of material as a little bit of tabs um, in about four to six places and that will connect this piece to the rest of the stock that way these pieces just don't get cut all the way through and pop out and possibly damage itself so there's going to be a little bit of tabs that I can just pop off afterwards so let's generate the code and let's put it on the fireball CNC machine and let's get this case cut out And here's the final results. CNC is done. Let me grab the other piece here. And it uh, it worked pretty well. I'm actually impressed with how it cut out for a first time design. And that was some pretty cool, it was pretty cool watching the bit go around cutting this all out. So now it's time to pull it out and see if this fits together. And after some light sanding, it all fits together. But I didn't make this slot quite long enough. So I'm going to have to go take care of that with a Dremel.
Okay, I'm here with my CNC uh, case for my Raspberry Pi that runs OctoPrint for my printer. So it's time to retire this old cardboard box and get that out of there. And let's plug in the webcam. Let's plug in the printer. And let's plug in the external mouse that I was using. Get everything plugged in. And let's power this baby up. Let's see how the power cord works. Oops, this way. And we have a functional Raspberry Pi in this case. So, not bad for a first attempt at the uh, CNC machine. So. so, Raspberry Pi is up and running. Hello, OctoPrints, in a nice, sweet case. That was a fun project. Thank you all for watching. Please like the video if you've liked the video, and uh, subscribe for, you know, some more projects. Some CNC, some 3D printing. Let's have some fun with this. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.